wife doesn't care about your abs. You lost your mind? What you didn't you believe mean? that, did but you? But you don't know who my wife is. I know who everybody's wife is. This video is sponsored by Sportsman's Guide. Shop Sportsman's Guide and use code WARPOET and you can start saving money on ammunition, blasters, hunting accessories, all kinds of good stuff. Military surplus. Check it out. Sportsmansguide.com. Use code WARPOET. All right, folks, so if I was going to learn how to work out from any dude in the country, I would be taking tips from the famous Mark Ripito. His resume precedes him. That's exactly what we're going to do today. We are on our way, heading down through Texas. I've got Mike, old ranger buddy right here, and also Preston is in the back. Anyway, we're going to go see the illustrious Mark Ripito. He's going to teach me how to work out. I, for one, understand and appreciate the value of good training i want to be uh, i want to understand the technique and most in, first and foremost i don't want to get injured so anyway we're going to go learn from the master yoda himself of all things strength and power lifting so uh you guys will see me utterly embarrass myself however hopefully you uh will learn some stuff as i'm really just in the mode of i'm i'm going to learn so here we go <laughs> it to Wichita Falls Athletic Club. We are joined by Rip or Mark Ripito. You John, go by Rip. I'm, I'm Rip to most everybody. It's an aggressive sounding name. Thanks so, for, thanks for coming, John. Thanks, thanks for having us up. Let's learn to squat today, yes, shall sorry. we? Sounds good. All right, we're going to dispense with the belt for just a minute. We're going to put that back on later because I understand your back situation. But the first thing we've got to learn about the squat is the squat, uh, you have been taught by everybody in the, in the media, the muscle magazines, all of the exercise media wants to, wants to make squat doing legs. And we're not going to do a body part today. We don't deal with body parts, we deal with movement patterns. We make normal human movement patterns strong five pounds at a time and that's how this works every single time it is done uh, it's an incremental accumulation of an adaptation to an increased amount of stress and it works for every human being who is not dying of terminal cancer and hell it even works for them now that i think about it so uh if we take healthy people and we just get them strong and then we allow that we stress them and we increase the stress a little bit, an incremental increase in the stress. And then we feed them correctly and we allow them to recover from that stress. Then they adapt to that stress and now they went from here to here. So now we're here and now we're gonna go to here. And before you know it, you're strong. You're not stronger for a movement pattern. You're stronger overall. Got it. And then you take that strength and apply it to wherever you are going to be in the field. Because it's terribly important to understand why we worry more about being strong than we worry about endurance. Because if we get a guy that can squat 405, what are the chances that he loses his ability to run two miles? Yeah, right. None. But if all he can do is run two miles, how is he as useful to us as if he could also squat 405? Roger. Okay. That's my whole point. Cool. If you don't train for strength, you won't be strong. Understood. But if you do train for strength, you can still run. 
Okay. So I just started doing kind of some of the starting strength, but without a coach. I'm worried I've been doing stuff wrong. I have seen significant gains in my squat and deadlift and partially muscle recruitment. I'd never sure. done it before, but probably put 100 pounds on both of those uh, in, in a pretty short amount of time. Right. But uh, anyway, I'm still scared that something's about to go out. Well, what I want to show you today is the way to squat with your hips so that it throws all the load onto your hips. But it also is going to be a squat that uses a more horizontal back position. So you've just got to get the idea in your head that the squat is about hips, not about legs. All right, I want you to take a stance facing me on the platform. All right, I want you to point your toes. I want you to look down at your feet. This is about the right stance width, but you're, you see your toes are at two different angles. All right, Point them out at about 30 degrees. It's going right. like, to look like that. All right. More than that. More than you want them to be. Uh, all right. Pull your left heel back a little bit. There. That looks pretty good. Now I want you to just squat down. Squat all the way down. All right. I want you to take your elbows. Watch me and put your elbows inside your knees and shove them out a little bit in contact with your knees. There. And push them out a little bit. You have got a picture in your mind of this. Correct. And I want you to get that picture out of your mind. I want you to get this position. I want you to get familiar with this. Now, I want you to push up on my hand and come up out of the bottom. Good. Do that again. You're driving up with your hips. Right? Don't lift this. Okay. Push this up. But that's the idea. Lead with the hips. See how much harder you can push when you do it like that? Interesting. Yeah. Again, okay. drive my fist up in the air. That's how you squat. Yeah. And immediately you know that's stronger. Don't yeah, you? That's, yeah, that's great. Bro. All right, so when we put the bar on your back, this remains the squat. Hips recruit more muscle mass. Cool. And train more muscle mass and allow you to lift heavier weights and thus get stronger. Come to the bar or show me your normal grip you've been using. Uh, for doing a squat? Yeah. Uh, Let's use know. thumbs on top. Can you get under that, that close? Yeah, right. Come back out of the, come back out. I want you to go a little tiny bit wider than that. You're pretty, pretty flexible in the shoulders. All right, go under the bar. Now the bar, you've got it in exactly the right place. It sits on the posterior delts, and all of this is tight, okay? Just like that. Put your wrist in a little bit more straight position. This is flexion, a little more wrist flexion, and this tightens the bar up. Tighten your back up against the bar, right there. It's not supposed to be comfortable, it's supposed to Good. be tight. It's not. Good, stand up. Not comfortable. Step back. Now, go to exactly the same stance you had before, <clears throat> with your toes a little wider than you wanted them. You're going to squat down and come back up. Ready? Take a big breath, hold it, and squat. And remember, lead up with hips. Okay. Again. Tiny bit deeper, John, just a little tiny bit. Good. Three, two more. This is first. Okay. Like that. Excellent. Rack it. Walk it in. This is going to get easier with a little weight on it. All right? Okay. You got to rest between these because if we take fatigue from the previous set into the next set, we're going to artificially limit the amount of weight we can lift today. Remember Mr. Lopez? We're going to you watched my videos. We're going to Check this guy we're, out. We're huh? going to talk about Mr. Lopez. All right, five reps. My dog. Air supports the back because air fills this. The pressure from here translates down to here, and this supports that Don't go lower, from bro. the front. Don't go lower. Now this time, you're going to bounce off of that position at the bottom. Say the word boing in your head. Deep, boing, that's how we squat. Wow. Rack it. See the, oh yeah. Oh God, yes. It's a normal human movement. How's this work with like 95 year old 
It works the same way. Same way? It's same good. Way. So same way. They if, make if noise. You, if too. all of a sudden this didn't work out and you found yourself running a nursing home, you could start them on starting. I would have, if I found myself running a nursing home one day, in about six months, half of the patients would be gone. Wow. They'd be back home. Okay. I thought you meant dead. No, That's better. they'd be back home. But you because got my joke. Smile at my joke. My joke was a it's, good one. It's, it's real funny, That's John. a good joke. He's laughing. The cameraman's it, it's, laughing. It's, it's, it's extremely funny. But here's, look, aside from the fact that you, just you are obviously a comedian, aside from that fact, people are in nursing homes because they are not strong enough to take care of themselves anymore. Right? Now think about your grandmother. Think about people you know in nursing homes. What's really wrong with them? Yeah, they may have some disease, but the net effect of that disease is that they've been sedentary. And when you're sedentary, you're not strong. You don't have cancer and can't get up out of the couch. You have cancer, get weak and can't get up out of the couch. Strength is the problem with people in nursing homes. If you don't want to be in a nursing home, stay strong. Now, one more thing I want to show you. You are a back patient, yes. all right? So, what I'm going to teach you is probably the most important thing I'm going to show you today. How do you flex the thing? What, well, what, what, what I action? do, what I do is I am going to concentrically shorten those two muscles, and I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, this, and then when I've got that set, then I set my abs. So I set the position with my lower back muscles, and then I reinforce that position here. But you gotcha. are only thinking about this. Yes. This lumbar contraction must precede the abdominal contraction. This reinforces this. All right, so there's a couple of different ways we can think of to do this, okay? Just relax. There, what you just did, you picked up your sacrum relative to the top of your lumbar spine. Easy. It, it, it did this. It went from here to here. Awesome, easy. Just do that. If guys. it was easy, you'd already been well, doing Well, I didn't know what to do. I know, I know you didn't know what to do. And this is an incredibly common thing. Okay. Okay. Remember the other 34. Yeah, all that other shit. Just do it all. You just, just do just it all. Do, just, it all. Just do it all and do it right. I'm just gonna do it all. And do it right. If this is easy, John, everybody be doing it. Okay. Now, good. Yeah, you got the hip movement mastered here. Yeah, I feel stronger. It should it be more like, stable. Yeah, before right. I was just breathing in. Right. And then I'd push yeah. out against that belt, hold my breath, right. and just kind of try to keep if it If you straight. push out against the belt, you're going to be thinking about pushing this way. That's exactly what I'm saying. And doing. what happens when you do that is your back goes from here to here. That's exactly what it goes into flexion, and that's how you get hurt. You should do this professionally. I need to think about that. <laughs> need to think about that. Let me give that some thought. Okay, let's go got, up to, let's things. put the belt on now, and let's practice with that. All right, so, so far, I have learned that everything I've been doing with squats has been wrong, and he's got me at lower weights so that I could be able to uh, get all the techniques and stuff right. Old Grumpy's coming back right now, so I gotta, hey, we're good. I mean, I wouldn't say anything. And now you're going to see what the belt is supposed to do. Okay? Okay. Let's go. <clears throat> Let me remember all of the things. That's why we're doing this many times. We're practicing this movement pattern. Okay. Now just settle down a minute, okay? Stand up. Take a big breath. Squeeze the low back. Now the abs go. And you're going to ignore the belt. All right, ignore, don't even, it's not even there. You just do the same thing you did before. Exactly right, two. Good, John, this is excellent depth. Everything's moving just like it should. Knees and hips are doing exactly the right thing. Remember, drive the hips. Just like that, right. All right. You start getting used to the idea that here's your low back. Here's the low back, not there. Back's never here, it's always here. And pretty soon the thing gets strong enough to support you in the weirdest position you'll ever be in. You're much more useful if your low back is strong. And here's another interesting, if that takes another 20 pounds of body weight, then gain it, hmm. gain it. 
you know, the big, strong guy is more useful to the unit than the little skinny guy. Yeah, and I'm out. Kidney. Just so you know, I'm out. I'm I know out. you're out. I know you're out, but you're not out. Good call. Seems right. very Miyagi-ish, too, right. which was fitting. That's me. 63 <laughs> years of telling people things. This is practice, not training. Okay. Toe angle. Rotate your heels in a little bit more than that. Excellent. Good. Set. Set the low back. No, the other way. I got it. Right? Right there. Go. Reset. Good, good. That's the movement. That's the movement. Okay. Again, this arches. Good. Three. All right, make that clicking stop. I hear it now. Just tighten up so it doesn't do that racket. It's my left knee. Everything feels way inefficient now because I'm going so slow. Oh, you're not going slow. All the things. You're not going slow. Okay. A week from now, you'll be doing all those little things, but you won't be thinking about it. Roger. It'll just be automatic. If you put the belt too low, it's going to tell you that the curve is there when really it's not. Mm. And it's false proprioception coming from the bad belt what position. That? What was the name of this? <laughs> Say the big word again. False proprioception. You made that up. No, I That's didn't. A made up word. No, I, 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 You're I just probably, making up I'm words. the first one to use They're it. They're impressed already. I'm the first one to use They're the They're already impressed. You don't have to make up words, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a word. The point is, trust the hips. Got it. You don't have to lift the chest to stand up. When you get to the top and you're through with the hips, you're going to stand up anyway. I feel like every if you, I did was different. But if, they were. Ugh. They were all different. And we, I suck, it's, bro. I suck. This is what coaches are for. So anyway, that's a little introduction to what you're supposed to be doing in the squat. If you uh, will stay out of your chest, stay in the hips, and set the low back like I showed you, mm -hmm. then you're going to be way healthier in the long run and way stronger in the long run. Make sure you check out Mark's book, Starting Strength Incredible. Uh, find a place that is a Starting Strength affiliate or We have affiliate work? gyms. We have uh, uh, Starting Strength franchise gyms going up all over the country. So look for those in your area. Come to our seminar. All this information is available to you at startingstrength.com. We'll have links down below in the description if you guys want to get tuned up. I've been on this journey for a little while, got way farther to go because I've been screwing up a bunch of stuff. But uh, thanks for tuning in and watching me fail forward with this, and uh, we'll see you next time.